Thanks, Sue. Turning now to Decision 2010 and the race for governor. Just 15 days to go until you cast your vote, and both candidates are crisscrossing the state trying to win that vote. Democrat Virg Bernero stumped tonight in Muskegon County, and 24 Over News 8's Mark Thompson just back from the town hall meeting in Muskegon Heights. Mark? And Brian, with Bernero trailing in the polls to his Republican opponent, Rick Snyder, he isn't wasting any opportunity to try and secure those votes, although tonight in Muskegon Heights, he was talking mainly with those who are already in his corner. A modest crowd on hand at the Muskegon Heights High School Auditorium. A little more than 100 people joined in on the town hall discussion with the Democratic gubernatorial candidate, Verge Bonero. This man cared enough about our small little town to come here and meet with us and give us his ideas on how he wanted to make Michigan a better state. No surprise, the Lansing mayor highlighting not only his record, but his plan for creating jobs. The Main Street agenda, as he calls it, focusing on capital investments for communities and tax incentives for businesses. We have an economic plan that makes sense. It's solid. Uh, my opponent, uh, his plan is pretty weak, pretty thin gruel. But there were also questions asked that Bonero admits he hadn't heard before. People wanted to know how he planned to reform the state's criminal justice and correction system. Pastor William Anderson with the NAACP claiming defendants in Muskegon County don't get adequate representation from public defenders and those getting out of prison are often worse off than when they went in. Part of Bonero's solution, fixing the problem at its source, early education. Common denominator of our prison population is they were dropouts. They're kids that, really kids that didn't make it through school, that dropped out and ended up going down the wrong road. And finally, there was the issue of local consolidation of government services. Bonero says it's key to saving money and keeping taxes down, but he knows it's not an easy sell, especially in Muskegon, where you have the city, the county, Muskegon Heights, and Norton Shores. And, of course, the debate on debates came up again tonight. Bernero driving home the fact that he was the only candidate to accept the invitation to tonight's events in Muskegon Heights. Rick Snyder will be at the Wealthy Theater in Grand Rapids tomorrow night at 5 o'clock. We'll be there to cover that event, and we'll bring you what he has to say both on air and online. Susie? All right, Mark, thanks. We have some interesting and good numbers to share with you. More of you are registered for this election to vote than for the last gubernatorial race. The Secretary of State's office says 95.5% of potential voters are registered for the November 2nd election. That adds up to 7.28 million voters compared to 7.18 million in 2006.